I wanted to make this point, that the struggle for more equitable futures and equity in schools is a struggle and it's ongoing and we never reach our goal. But I always love the optimism in this Martin Luther King observation. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. We are on the right side of history. Some might say the left side, I suppose. But if we think for a moment, we had the governor of New South Wales here this morning, a female governor. We have a female governor general. In the 1930s, one in three persons in Australian universities were women. That's changed. There have been some changes, positive changes, in respect of women in our society. During the time of the Whitlam government at the federal level, when I was quite young, I worked on a research project for that government on the Aboriginal Secondary Grant. And according to the official statistics we were given at that time, there was not one young Indigenous Australian formally enrolled in the senior years of schooling. That's changed. We have Indigenous Australians as doctors, lawyers. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. If we think about socioeconomic status as well, the government, the current federal government, has a goal of 20% of university students by 2020 coming from the bottom quartile of SES. If one looked at the end of the Second World War, there was barely a student from such background um, in our universities. Think of your own grandparents and how much education they had. The students here, think of your grandparents and how much education they had. My parents had primary education. So there are advances. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it does bend towards justice.